Uh, my name is Joe Walter. I live in Aspermont, Texas. Uh, I'm, I'm married. I have four children. Uh, uh, Jess, Emily, Ross, and Will. My wife's name is Jimmy. We, uh, I start horses for people and, and train some horses to work a cow. Uh, I also do clinics around the country and, and as well as at home. My clinics consist of colt starting, ranch roping, uh, horsemanship, and cow working. I started doing the ranch roping clinics in, I think, about 1987, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. And I've enjoyed. I've enjoyed all of it. I'm, I'm a kind of a blessed guy to be able to make a living at doing what I like to do. So, and uh, hope it continues. <laughs> I was born in Monterey, California, but when I was about five years old, uh, my parents, we moved to Grass Valley, which is up in Northern California. It was about 100 miles from Reno. My dad drove heavy equipment, and, and uh, there were four kids, or there are four kids, uh, on 10 acres. And uh, when I was... Uh, when I was real young, my folk, my dad had a ranching background, but due to economic reasons, he, he had, to, had to drive heavy equipment to support us. And uh, uh, one, of, one of the only vacations that we'd go on, we'd try to every year, was my folks would take us to the Cow Palace at San Francisco. And uh, I love, used to love, to, it, was the, it was like the Grand National, they called it, and it was like the last rodeo before the NFR. And it was very unique because you'd see almost all the top 15 in the rodeo world, but you'd also see they used to have a rodeo event, then a horse show event. And the horse show events were the bridle horses. Uh, and I remember seeing those those bridle horses, and I mean, I was just intrigued by it, and I loved it, and and uh, that's what I tried to do. Uh, my my grandfather, my gra grandfather, we didn't have uh, uh, a lot of horses, but we always had some around there. My grandfather won a won a black pony one time uh, if he bought this certain car, and so the rest, of my brothers and sisters and cousins, they. They weren't maybe quite as interested as I was, but I, I took that pony and I broke him to ride with my dad's help, and that was the first horse I ever started. I was about 10 years old, and uh, and I just had great great times on that thing. But and then we'd go to the cow palace and see what I was missing, so I tried to get get what I saw those horses do that black pony do. Well, basically I tortured him, you know, but he was he served his purpose, and it was. Uh, it was uh, it was a good experience. Uh, I got a job cleaning stalls when I was 11 at a thoroughbred farm that went was lived right next door to our grammar school. And one of the perks of cleaning stalls was uh, I got to ride. And so they were in the thoroughbred business. So some of those colts that didn't make it on the racetrack, they'd they would jump. And so I learned to ride jumping horses, or tried to. And I did that all through high school. And uh, my senior year in high school, when I graduated from high school, I got a job starting some horses on a ranch, and then that led to me to going to Nevada. And uh, I went to Nevada on one place, and, and it was a good experience, but, but it wasn't quite what I had in mind. And uh, I thought that I would run into these great hands, and this one particular place where I was at, what, that wasn't necessarily true. They were all doing the best they could, but, but it wasn't like those bridle horses I had in mind that I saw at the Cow Palace, you know. But I, I, I loved to rope, and I wanted to rope, and, and uh, so that was my incentive for being on a ranch, have a reason to rope something. And uh, I went to the Elko County Fair, and there was a dance one night. And uh, I go to this dance, and I 
I run into Brian Newbert, and uh, I was out of a job, and uh, he was telling me about he was working for a guy in Gerlock, Nevada, and he said that guy's the best hand he ever saw, and. Uh, and uh, it got more interesting. I really wasn't looking for a job at the time. I was kind of thinking about going back home to California. But uh, the more he talked, the more it sounded interesting. And, and the fellow's name was Ray Hunt, the cow boss. And uh, so the next morning I went and met him. And uh, he hired me on the spot. Uh, I had to go home and uh, get some things in order. And then I went back up to the ranch. And that experience with Ray changed my whole focus in my life, I feel like. He, uh, uh, those years at the thoroughbred farm, I noticed if, if someone had a problem with a horse, they, their remedy was just to get more people involved. And, uh, and as a young boy, I remember leading those stallions to turn them out and stuff, and you had to, most of them, you had to hold the lead shank up like that and, and let them put it in their mouth, and then you could put the chain over their nose, and then you could lead them out. Most of the time, they were jumping all over the place. And, and in my mind, I always knew it didn't have to be that way, but I didn't know what, how. No, there was nobody I could find that could give me some answers. And again, those people were just doing what they knew, you know. And so if you get used to doing certain things a certain way, there's not much chance of it changing. But for, when I met Ray Hunt, that all changed. I, he was getting things done with horses that uh, I just couldn't believe it. And, but, but it was an amazing time. And then, and then uh, uh, he got me in, he, he got me so interested uh, that ranch sold and it was about then when Ray started doing the clinics full time and and I got to spend a couple more s sessions with him in California but he pretty much headed down the road doing the clinics and uh, that I was wanting more help and, so I got hooked up with the Dorrances. I went to Cal Poly at San Luis Obispo for a short time and ran into, just run into Bill Dorrance's two boys, uh, two of the three boys. And I went home with them one weekend and got to meet Bill. And uh, one Sunday there we worked on our roping. And it just, you know, I just, I just been blessed. I just think of I, you know, of that phrase about being at the right place at the right time, it just happened. And, uh, but I also had the desire, you know, and I still do. I still, I still, I still want to get better. And uh, later, later on, you know, being, I, I, I was a guy that always had to make a living. And uh, so I, those times I went to Nevada and cowboyed, and those were great times. Uh, there was a few years there where I worked with Brian and Billy Askew and and people like that and it was so much fun to get with a crew work with a crew that was, our dreams were all the same and we had the same heroes too you know it was the Dorrances and Ray Hunt and, and Billy Van Norman and you know uh, I, I'd like to think I made use of those opportunities Hindsight's 2020, and I wish I'd have paid even more attention, you know. But there's nobody that doesn't have the same, same deals. And uh, but my ranching background, handling big bunches of cattle, and and working by myself, I told us I had a uh, our one one particular job was just a wonderful time in my life was that cow camp job when I was by myself and had a thousand head of cows to look after to keep pushed around and. I had a bunch of colts and my dogs, and, and uh, there was great value in that. I realized what you could do by yourself, and, and that set it up for when I was with someone else, how to help somebody else, you know? Uh, I've often thought about, yeah, I met those guys at a kind of a pivotal time in my life where I had some questions, 
if, if I would have just met them and never had any of those other experiences, it probably wouldn't have meant as much to me. And so I try to incorporate that into, into, into helping people now. If uh, I realize this, if they have the questions, that's good. Or if they're a little frustrated, oh, that's the first part of learning. Then they're looking for something else, you see. So with, with all the help those guys gave, gave us, uh, or help, I should say, examples, uh, uh, Brian and myself and many other guys that maybe have achieved something, the, the desire came from inside them, you know. So, and that's how it is with everybody. So, it's been wonderful, just been wonderful. <laughs>